Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hawks News. I'm your host, Ethan West. I know what many of you might be thinking, Ethan, you were a junior in high school, why are you hosting a Hawks News episode? Well, the truth is, I peaked in middle school and I have no friends at the high school. But on a real note, um, this is a reunion episode of Hawks News, meaning a bunch of old cat cast members have agreed to come back and rekindle the Hawks News spirit. But that's not enough of that, let's get right into the news. Off to weather. Hello there, I'm Brendan Whalen, and this is your weather. Now, I could simply just tell you about the weather, but here at Hawks News, we care. So I'll show you. Oh my god, is that a gray storm cloud? No, that's just my hair. Now, as you can see, it's a fantastic day out today. Let's take one moment to stand and enjoy the beautiful sound of nature. Go back inside! Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, folks, our show's gonna be cut a little short this week. This has been Brendan Whalen reporting live from scenic Danvers, Massachusetts. Thank you for watching. Back to you, Ethan. Thanks for the insightful weather report. Personally, when I'm in quarantine, I don't even look outside. I stay in bed all day watching the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Shout out to Jack Sparrow. But besides watching movies and doing the remote learning, I all know we absolutely love. I also find it hard to think of other things to keep me entertained besides scrolling through TikTok for hours. So we have you, we have you back here at the old Onion Town. We have compiled a list of things you can do when you are bored. Off to you. Hello, HRMS. I am Miss Robbins, everyone's favorite ESL teacher. Now it's important we continue to quarantine, even though staying away from others can be very hard. Not to worry, there's still so much you can do, such as walking your dog for endless amounts of time on the currently empty streets of your neighborhood. Rearranging all of the furniture in your house to achieve a better feng shui. Julie, where do you want this? Reworking a wedding that took an entire year to plan so that none of your friends can come. And of course, staring out the window, watching the squirrels rummaging through my trash. As you can see, there are plenty of ways to stay home, stay safe, and stay occupied. See you soon, I hope. Back to you, Ethan. Hopefully now I can do other things besides watching paint paint dry. So thank you, Ms. Robinson, for that helpful tip. That's probably more than I've learned from school with Kenzel. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, anyway, moving on to local news. With all the bad news going around town, we thought there had to be some good news about how to act if gonna go around town. So we found it and gonna report to you. Off to local news. Hi everyone, I'm Caroline Teal and welcome to local news. As everyone knows, wearing a face mask is very important for everyone's safety and is heavily suggested for going out in public in Danvers. But this doesn't mean you need to don a boring face mask. Many online stores like Vistaprint, Banana Republic, and even Disney are making masks with fun prints and designs. Whether you like flowers, Star Wars, or both, you can definitely find a mask that fits your style. And if you want to make a mask at home, there are so many fabrics to choose from. But be aware, I think that Michael's Craft Store is closed or at least there's a giant line outside of it. Anyways, that's all for local news. Back to you, Ethan. Anyway, if you haven't noticed, Talk News is set up a little differently this time. We look something alone and separate. We are practicing social distancing. By social distancing, we, are, we can slow the spread and help ease the stress on medical workers and all essential workers, but more on that later. For now, let's just learn a little more about why social distancing is so important. Hey, Holton Richard Middle School. Uh, it's Mr. Hodgson here, special science consultant to Hawks News. Uh, here with a word about social distancing. But first, let's talk about a virus, like a coronavirus. So a virus can't survive very long outside the body. It really needs to either be inside of a person or a host, or spend a small period of time in a droplet of water outside of the, outside of the body. So how is it spread? Well, it's spread because these little droplets of water that contain the virus uh, have to get transferred from one person or another. Two ways this can happen. One is someone coughs or sneezes into the air and you're very close and breathe it in. The other way it can happen is someone coughs or sneezes in their hand, touches a surface, then you come along later, touch that surface, then touch your face. 
So that's the ways that, um, that it can be spread. So how do we prevent that? Well, the first thing is to stay six feet apart. If you're six feet away from a person, then if they sneeze or cough or breathe out, then that, um, then that virus isn't gonna be transferred to you. Secondly, wear a mask. If you're wearing a mask, you can't, you not only aren't breathing in the virus, but you also aren't tempted to touch your face. So if you touch a surface that has the virus, you remember that you're not supposed to touch your face. And of course, wash your hands and use sanitizer. That way, if you're to touch a surface that has the virus on it, when you wash your hands, you're getting rid of the virus, as well as sanitizer does the same thing. So the key here is, let's not panic about the virus, but let's do take good steps to prevent getting it. That's all for now, Hawks News. That was very educated. That was very educational. But hopefully by September, things go back to slightly more normal. Many big corporations have shut down to protect social distancing, including Broadway and, less importantly, sports. With, with, with the weekly games and events of, of spring sports, some people have found it hard to get by. So we have made a list of things you, you can get hyped for besides the normal spring sports. Off the sports. Hello, HRMS. This is Mr. Federico with the Hawks News Sports Report. Here are the scores from last night's action. No scores because there were no games last night. And let me go over tonight's schedule of games. There are no games scheduled. Well, since we have no sports to watch, I thought instead I would share with you my top three sports movies of all times. Number three is Miracle, followed up by The Sandlot. And lastly, Rocky III, because any movie with Mr. T has to be in your top three list. That's the sports report for Hawks News. I'm Mr. Federico. I might not be the biggest sports person, but I do miss the electric feeling of when someone scores a touchdown in baseball. <laughs> Always a great moment. Anyways, with all this extra time, we've often been spending more time at home in, with everyone in the house, and this includes pets. So ask two to talk about life in quarantine with pets. Pets, loyal companions, man's best friend, the dishwashers. Okay, I can't come up with any more analogies. The point is, pets are such a big part of our lives, and now that we're home more often than not, we get to see what our pets do each and every day. Many pets have different activities that they participate in from day to day while we aren't home. Let's take a look at what pets do in their free time. Here we have Emmett. His activities consist of sitting in the dark corners of the yard, bonding with his ripped up toy named Phil, and overall just being a happy boy. Tosh is your stereotypical old dog, always standing around guarding the house, always looking for somewhere to lay down, and always looking for something to snack on. It is very important to give your pets love and attention in order to strengthen your bond and build their trust. This, my friends, is how you build a bond with your animals. Hey Tosh, how you been? How's your day been? Can you talk to me? I'm getting on me. What's gonna happen? Well, bye. Oh, thank you. Is that it? As stated before, pets are such a big part of our lives and a great source of entertainment now that we're home more often. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well and are staying safe. See ya! A true thank you to every single essential worker. Personally, I work at McDonald's, so one might call me an essential worker. And no, our ice machine is not broken. And yes, any size hot coffee is $1 plus the 6.25% sales tax or about seven cents. Anyways, it has been great to rekindle my days as a hot food anchor, and I'm sure all you guys miss me very much. Well, I'm Ethan, and Becky doesn't talk to me anymore, and this was Hawks News.